pieces out of them. But that can also be cool because this dude, Brian White in this, I mean, I'm not going to tell you everything that he is, but it's just not enough for him to be an asshole. I mean, he's almost psych- uh, psychotic in this. He's the, yeah. dude, the dude is, I mean, he he's, he's crazy pretty much. I mean, he is a menace. <laughs> and you and, But you love that because he is, see, Tyler Perry don't waste any time with trying to develop character. You know right off the bat that a guy's an asshole in his movies because oh, yeah. he, he has nothing nice to say. Uh, also in this movie, the, uh, the the telegraphed love interest is Adam Rodriguez, who is from CSI, who might as well be, like you say, trying out for Tony Mantana and Scarface. Yeah, too. yeah the, everything he do, he talk like this, man. We came oh. in and saw the very end of this. He's like, <laughs> yeah. God, I love you. But you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it was like he was coughing up cough balls on that girl. Uh, yeah. He's like, yeah. you don't love, okay. He's like, how can I love you? You don't love yourself, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. He kept saying, oh, God. Oh, God, man. You don't even fucking love yourself. Really? <laughs> like, you're, you're not really from Cuba, are you? Yeah. Hey, what, do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. What are you doing? I'm working off my bed. What? I figured that I get it this morning, get to work. Uh, I figured if I fix this floor, then the kids can stay in this room. Oh, well, you don't have to worry about those kids. They are not staying here, so pack up your little tools and go on back down the basement. Come on. These kids, they need a room of their own. Why are you so worried about kids that don't even belong to you? What's up with you? That's your family. Why are you not concerned? Right. Jennifer has nightmares every night. Manny, night sweats, Byron. He tosses and turns in his sleep. Can you imagine what those kids have been through? I just want to help them. <laughs> you want to help them? You live in my basement. You can't even help yourself. How are you going to help them? I'm going to start by giving them this room. <laughs> I mean, he was just shy of wearing a tank top and like a Hawaiian shirt. You know? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I was like, damn, man, I know you don't talk like this. Now, I see CSI. <laughs> you know, come on now. Uh, but so, yeah, he, and he, this guy is so goody goody. But you will, and he's so, see, he, he's so good, you want to see him win. Even bad accent and everything. And Brian White is so bad that you can't wait for him to get his ass kicked by, by Adam Rodriguez. And, 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 and see, Brian White comes in and like, you know, a brother can at least say hello when they see somebody in the room. You know, they they can go on and be an asshole. They can be right. like, hey, what's up, man? What the hell are you doing in my house? You know, but no, the guy comes in like, who the hell is this over here? Hey, Mexico, you legal? Yeah, that's what I thought. You know, this is like, Damn. the guy's just like trying to be nice. Like, hey, how you doing? Shut up, Mexico. And it's like, come on, man. <laughs> I mean, this, Brian White might as, might as well have come in with a, a handlebar mustache and a top hat and a cape you know, and a monocle. Well, if he did all that, he'd be my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say, he's, he's not that big of a guy. I mean, if you're like Ving Rams, you can get away with that kind of shit. You know, you're like, yo, fuck you. And you'd be like, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right. I was just about to do that. <laughs> you like me to get you a glass of water, sir? Anything? <laughs> Rub your toes? That's the man mountains, and you're like, yeah, yeah whatever, man. You're the fucking juggernaut. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. But, no, you, you know, need a massage, sir? Brian White. He's just. I'm like, all right. I'm scrappy. No, the, I can take him. No, the dude. Is, the dude. The dude is buff, man. He's he's it, like he. They will make a, a point of him to take off his shirt. Well, uh, like he takes his shirt off. He's all strong. He's got his washboard stomach and everything. He comes in and pretty much is this close to beating the hell out of Adam Rodriguez with his washboard stomach. You know? so, <laughs> Hey, man. You know, but uh, he's gonna so, rub his face up, right? Rip the skin off. Like a no, shark no you, you exfoliated everything really nicely. <laughs> but <laughs> now go wash your car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, so it, th- there's a good soap opera, just kind of uh, guilty like, pleasure is he, is thing, he like a like a good juicy evil. Yeah. Because I can't remember the guy's name, Steve something from the from the first movie from Diary of a Mad Black Woman. I'm like that guy was evil. He was a, like the total asshole. But the stuff that would come out of his mouth was just so evil and so it made me laugh i mean he had a way of turning a phrase no, i was like damn that, that tyler Perry's done this with men and women he just when they're evil he don't waste any time they are just evil spiteful mean people and they're just there to bring you down or beat the hell out of you or <laughs> something entrance is preceded by the dog they kicked flying in <laughs> <Yeah>. the door <laughs> Yeah, that dog, is, he ain't even crying. No more. He's going by with a cast on his leg and everything. Hey, like, here we go. Damn it, I didn't sign on for this bullshit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> when you see me flying by, yeah, just be quiet. But no, So there's a good guilty pleasure kind of feeling from that because you really do want to see these people get there. Sure. As evil as they, and, and we know nobody's that bad, but still. So it's Tyler Perry's world. We got to accept it. Now, where the movie just falls short is, as I said, their musical numbers. Gladys Knight is in the movie also. Right. And uh, and we also have uh, Mary J. Blige. Yeah. Uh, two soul singing sisters, you know, got great voices. So when they, in a Tyler Perry movie, they're going to get their five minutes to sing. Yeah. I mean, it, it's not going to be no plot, 
not going to be no real editing to cut back to people doing anything. You're going to sit there at a Gladys Knight or a Mary J. Blige concert. You know, it's almost like those old variety shows like the Carol Burnett show where you come back from commercial and they would like actually stop the show to introduce a musical number by Robert Goulet or somebody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the same thing, except there's no commercial in the middle. I mean, I don't want to ruin anything for anybody, but the last five minutes of the movie, you can leave. It's Mary J. Blige singing on a stage, and you waiting for like maybe another scene to happen. You waiting for maybe the credits to roll. Nah. No, no, she gets through singing, then the credits roll. It's like you really don't have, unless you're just a really big Mary J. Blige fan, you really don't have to stay. And, and there's and, and there are other scenes that just this movie could have been thirty minutes shorter had they taken out also the church parts. I mean, there is a part where it's not not no two parts where the preacher's giving a sermon. And you wait like, okay, uh, what's going to happen? And now that preacher gives his whole sermon right there. And, and almost in every Tyler Perry movie, somebody has to get up and find Jesus. You know, like he's like, who here today? Who, who wants to find Jesus? And, you know, you get the character who was bad. Or even sure. the character was good. And they get yeah. up and they shake hands to the preacher. And all. I mean, it, it was almost at a point where I almost went up and walked towards the screen. <laughs> I was, <laughs> like, was going to say, Corey, maybe he, he made that to say something to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, he. I mean, he laid it on thick. I was, I was almost in front of the screen crying. <laughs> oh, <sweetie> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> put my hand up there and shit. <laughs> but uh and it's just i'm like thinking to myself man look i'm not the most religious person in the world but editing man we don't really don't need this shit <laughs> i mean come on man damn but seriously uh, just tell us where jesus is yeah yeah exactly. <laughs> i don't want to look for him yeah He's jesus shouldn't he know where he is <laughs> yeah I, yeah and it's it, it's it's ridiculous i mean now his audience are uh, uh anything from like 20 no i think he gets all black women i think women, yeah i think black women who are if you're a black female being born today you were like you were genetically engineered to like what tyler perry movies yeah, pretty much. That audience it was and they were talking back and everything but yeah that oh, yeah, was they the were audience in there they're like yeah, oh, yeah. Tell them, girl. yeah now a lot of and a lot of black women are religious so it's that's not gonna bother them and that's the thing i mean tyler perry has a locked in audience where they know what to expect especially if you've seen the plays you know how modeling this shit yeah. is yeah so it's, I mean, for that audience, what am I going to tell you? I mean, you're going to like it no matter what. I myself, <clears throat> I was really getting into it in certain parts until they had all the singing and the church scenes and whatnot. And then I had to just kind of give up on it. And I was like, damn, man, I, I, I know this is your movie and everything. But really, you know, you had something good here. Just cut it down. So uh, because it was unnecessarily long, I got to give this a rental. See, I, I didn't see enough of it to give it any kind of accurate rating. But from what I saw and from what you're saying, it sounds like a rental to me just because – it gives you that option of getting up and going to the bathroom or making a sandwich oh, or actually going to the store that's <laughs> on all was, the church parts. Well, see, that's what I was going to say. Now, you got that site called Run P that, where you can like – it's it's where there's a slow part in the movie uh, and you can go pee. Uh, run pee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you can run and pee and come back and you, and you didn't miss anything. And with this movie, uh, you can run and shit. <laughs> come back <laughs> because you, you got a manicure <laughs> when you see if you got it and look if you feel like you gotta go take a crap in the middle of this movie uh don't hit pause the, the 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 moment you see the preacher come up or the moment you see gladys knight and mary j blige grab a microphone go and 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 really have a nice long shit take yeah, your time take, take the wall street journal with yeah you. you yeah you can read something you know <laughs> bring a magazine sit down don't rush you know get it all out and when you go back i swear to you you are not gonna miss anything yeah as a white heathen male i think i'm gonna give this movie a fuck you based on what i saw <laughs> <laughs> like there ain't a chance in hell i'm sitting through two seconds of this well cyrus i gotta tell you there's a church shot in this movie and you know he's trying to tyler perry he's, he's trying to he's he, he, you know he's trying to advance you know, he's trying to he's trying to bring the black and white together. He's just trying to bring you to church. Well, yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. what it sounds like. But in his movie, it's like it's funny because all the black people are sitting up in the front and all the white people are sitting in the back yeah. of the church. Into the back of the bus. I know. Yeah. We did to, had it coming. It's I'm waiting for the white like his next movie where the white Rosa Park gets up and sits in the front of the church <laughs> 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 and make a movie about her. And here's the other weird thing. I did give this movie a rental, right? Yes. Okay, because I'll end it with this. But I, and I'm not going to even try to start on this Tyler Perry's gay type thing. If he is, big deal. If he's not, and he says he's not, no big deal. But there is a scene in this movie where, first of all, the movie opens up with a gay guy. You don't even see him. It comes on like, hello, welcome to Indigo Blue, y'all. Tonight we got a show for you. And it's like, okay, whatever. They got a, 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 this guy's got a lot of personality, and he's gay. Big sure. deal. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But they, they are at a club. Not a gay club, but a club. But for some reason, there's one shot in the movie. Where this guy gets up and he's like, now this is my favorite night, y'all. And next to him, there's a guy like in village people biker leather, like with tight shorts on and everything. And next to him, there's another guy who looks like he's, you know, kind of flamboyant. I'm like, where the hell did this come from? 
Plus, Medea sucks a lot of cock in these movies, from what I'm told. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the hell did that, what did that have to do with anything? Because well, it's Tyler Perry playing Medea, but you know, oh. the movie, it's a girl. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah this movie, well, you know, you're joking, but that's the thing. This movie also could have used a little more Medea, too. I mean, because Medea's funny. And, they, and don't expect Medea to be hilarious in this movie like she usually is. The beginning of the movie, when she's like get, telling that little girl, you know, say another thing to me, girl. I'll, I'll slap the shit out of you. But the, there's a part in the middle of the movie where Medea's ad-libbing. Yeah, and she's talking about how to pray, and you think it's gonna be heavy handed, and you're thinking, all right, whatever, this is Tyler Perry's movie, but it's not, and then you think, okay, this is gonna be funny, and it's just, they and let, it's not, <laughs> and it's not. They let the camera just roll, and you're yeah. expecting the funny thing to happen, and so, so don't go in expecting like a cool ass Medea movie because it's not that. It, but you do get some good performances in this, and I do recommend it for the uh, the dramatic parts. And that's my review. Congratulations. Thank you. Talk to me like that one more time. Honey, I've been to jail. I'll shank you, fool. Shank you. Because I can do bad all by myself. And I don't need nobody.